hope you're doing good and welcome to my Odoo website builder tutorial. Odoo is a platform that will give you access to numerous apps and one of their most popular apps is their website builder. If I were to tap on apps right here you can see that they have finance apps that will allow you to set up accounting, create invoices and so much more. And you can see the different categories that they also cover. Keep in mind with Odoo, you will get access to one app for completely free. And if you would like access to all of the apps, it will only cost you a small fee. For example, you can see right here of $7.25 per month for access to all apps. Now to get started, once you're on Odoo.com, you're going to simply tap on apps. Then we're going to tap on website builder. If it is a case that you would like to build an e-commerce store, you could tap on e-commerce. But we are going to select Website Builder for this example. Then you are going to tap on Start Now. It's free. After you have done that, you will be prompted to enter your first and last name and also your email address and some basic information. So let me do that real quick and then we can continue the tutorial. Once you are signed up, you will be redirected to this page. And from here you can tap on skip and start from scratch in the bottom right hand corner after you have done that you'll be redirected to the templates page and from here you can choose a theme depending on the type of website that you would like to create so you can see you can have the service theme right there you have the consultant theme and you can scroll down and you can see that there are numerous templates that you can choose from so let's say for example i were to select the real estate theme so i'm going to tap on use this theme after you have done that you're going to give it a few seconds while the website is being composed in the background as you can see right here once that is finished you'll be redirected to this page and this is your home page at the moment now to edit your home page you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to click on edit after you have clicked on edit, you're going to realize that you now have an element box that appears on the right hand column. And from here, if it is a case that you like to add a banner, you can do that. You can add heading. You can see all of the different elements that you can quickly add to your store. So for example, if I wanted to add a banner, all I would have to do is simply drag and place the banner. After you have dragged and placed the banner, you can see how it looks right here. Then to edit it, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the text. Then from there, you can start typing out the text. And keep in mind also from the right hand column right here, you'll also have other editing features. For example, if I were to tap on blocks right here, better yet customize. After selecting this, if I were to tap on customize, from here, I can also scroll down, I could change the background color, I could also change the size of the font and so on, but I could type out what I want right here. And if you like to edit the call to action button, all you have to do is tap on the button. After you have tapped on the button from there, you can either tap on edit link right here, or you could go over to the right hand menu option and tap on the link icon. Then from there, you could paste in the URL that you'd like to redirect persons to, or you can type in the page name that you'd like to redirect persons to. And again, if you wanted to change the background image, as I said earlier, all you need to do is simply select the entire page. Then from the right hand menu option, you could tap on replace. And after you have tapped on replace, from there, you could upload your own image to change the background image. Now, if you would like to add another block, all you need to do is tap on blocks. Then from there, let's say, for example, you'd like to add something else. So let's say we'd like to add a carousel. All you'll need to do is simply drag and place the carousel. And you can see that a carousel has now been placed. This is one of the easiest, the easiest website builders to use. So it is definitely beginner friendly. And you can see how the carousel looks right there. Now to get started with editing it, all you need to do is select the page that you'd like to edit. Again, you can tap on replace for image and you could change the image. And also, if you wanted to edit the text, you can simply tap on the text section. 
and from there you can type out a text that you would like to add and you can also tap on contact us and again you can edit the button right there and if we were to go over to the top right hand corner again and tap on blocks you can see all of the other features right there so if you'd like to put a comparison graph right there you could put comparisons and you could put it there you can also put references call to action buttons anything at all you'd want to add you can add it quite quickly you can add countdown timer right here you can also tap on embed code and you'll be able to paste your own embed code if it is a case that you'd like to add a pop-up to your website you can do that by tapping on pop-up right here and by scrolling down you can also see other stuff that you can add so you can add the share button you could add the ratings star and so much more now if it is a case that you like to add appointment for example all you'll need to do is hover over any one of these options and then tap on install and you'll be able to add that option now if you'd like to add more pages all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner once you have tapped on save, you're going to tap on new in the top right hand corner. Then from here, you could tap on page and you can add a new page. After you have tapped on page, you can see different page templates. So for example, you could go over to the left hand menu option. If it is a case that you like to add an about page, you could tap on about. Then from there, you can tap on the template that you'd like to use. So let's say this template. And we're just going to call this page about us and we want it to be added to the menu and we're going to tap on create so you can see the about us page has been added right there to edit it you can tap on any section from there you could tap on the image you could replace the image then tap on the text and you can replace the text it is as easy as that once you're finished you're going to tap on save once more in the top right hand corner then tap on new after you have tapped on new if it is a case that you'd like to add a blog post you could tap on blog post right there then you could install the blog post and you could add it if you would like to add for example an appointment form you can also do that by tapping on appointment form then you could tap on install after you have tapped on install you're going to give it a few seconds while it builds out your website appointment once that is built out you can see right there appointment form all you need to do now is simply tap on it after you have tapped on it from here you could add your appointment title so for example i'm going to simply type in consultant then after doing that you could add your profile pic right here or your cover image then after doing that you can scroll down and you can edit the page so you can edit your schedule in you can also tap on options right there and you can edit the time zones you could set up reminders and so on you can also tap on questions and you could add questions that you would like to ask your clients and you could tap on messages right there once you're finished you're going to tap on save and you can see how it looks right there so persons will now be able to book appointments after you're finished doing that you can see right there how it looks so all we'll need to do now, we could tap on new once more in the top right hand corner. And if it is a case that you would like to add live chat, you can do that. You can also use this platform to create courses. You can use them to sell products also. Once everything is to your liking, as you can see right there, you want to toggle on publish. You can also preview how it looks on mobile as you can see right here. And if we were to tap on your logo, it carries us back to the first page. And you can see how our first page looks right there. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.